This is video 12.3. In it, we'll look at the simple pendulum. The question. A simple pendulum of length 20 centimeters makes small oscillations. We'd like to know what is the pendulum's period, and supposing the pendulum is moved to the moon, what is the new period on the moon? Now for a simple pendulum that's making small oscillations, its motion can be described as sinusoidal. So the equations we've been looking at for period and frequency of simple harmonic oscillators also apply to the pendulum. Step one is to find the period on the Earth. We know the length, and so this is pretty easy. We have the formula for the period, which notice this doesn't involve the mass or the amplitude. So if we had the same pendulum, but it was twice as heavy, the period would be the same, which is somewhat surprising. We plug in the numbers, and we get a period of 0.9 seconds. Next, we'll find the period on the moon. I've looked up the acceleration due to gravity on the moon. And all we have to do is plug this into the equation and we get a new period of 2.2 seconds, which is longer than the period on the Earth. And that concludes video 12.3. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics AP Physics, MCAT Physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.